Well, firstly, um, I'm really pleased to be here and to see such a good turnout. Um, it's great that you've organized this event today and also that um, so many of you are open to learning and trying to improve psychological health in general. I think these are the, the types of areas um, of learning that you could really apply for the rest of your life. So how can I help you today? Um, I've been uh, trained as a psychotherapist 15 years ago and I work with a, a number of colleagues uh, in the counseling and psychotherapy profession and they deal with stressed out clients day in day out. Now to me stress can feel like you're balancing on a tightrope and there's an imminent danger or a threat. So it has some parallels to this. It feels like it's a real delicate balancing act and that you could fall off at any moment and if you do fall off it's very frightening because there's something that's quite threatening or, or, or potentially dangerous to you. And to me, stress management is about learning how to balance that tight rope, that, uh, that, that tight rope in a way that feels more comfortable, still uncertain, you still feel, face the same threats, you could fall off, scary things could lurk on the ground, but you're better at handling that <coughs> precarious situation. So you can ask yourself questions like, what exactly is the problem? Um, can I break it down? Are there any steps that can make this more bearable, more tolerable? Um, so for example, if you uh, have a test coming up and, or a project to hand in and it just feels overwhelming, as if you're gonna pack it all in, you just can't face it, uh, I'm gonna give up. So you can break it down into small steps and stage one might be just writing notes on a paper, you know, getting your ideas down. They don't have to make sense. This is not going to be your final piece of work, but you can actually get on that ladder and start doing something. It's almost as if you want to climb to the top of a mountain, which is your coursework submission, but to get there, you're not just airlifted. You have to walk your way through and every little step Will, will help you do that. There's no such th thing as a stress-free life and nor do we want there to be because it, it propels us, it drives us, it helps us achieve and it keeps us out of um, certain threats and dangers, which is great. But when it gets too much, is obviously we're uh, at the point where we want to uh, take intervention, but it is sometimes helpful just to take a step back and say, you know what, life isn't a breeze, um, but maybe this isn't going to matter so much in five years' time. I, like, I, I don't want to reduce your problem and, and, and brush it aside saying it's not a problem. Of course it's, a, it, of course it's significant to you now, but if there's a way that you can just elevate and say, this isn't the biggest thing that I'm going to confront in my life, and perhaps I could just put it into perspective. Does anyone know about cognitive behavioral therapy? If you do, put your hand up, please. OK, very good. Um, so it's a type of um, therapy where you are working on um, changing your thoughts and perceptions in order to improve how you feel and your mood. So some of the negative things that might rush through our minds, such as, I'll never get this work done, I'll give up, could be adapted. And we could reframe it into something that's more helpful and actually might encourage us to get going or to do something with it. It's basically taking the extreme thought and trying to modify it so that it's not, the consequences aren't as bad and as a result we tend to feel better about the situation. Um, this is the kind of techniques that we would normally do in therapy, so you would write down the list of thoughts that would come into your mind and you would learn ways of framing them so that you would feel um, in the end hopefully more positive about the situation. Different techniques for different people, so it could be just deep breaths, it could be a ratio of breaths of two in, four out, but just in a way that you're calming your body. Um, mindfulness you will learn more about. Um, essentially, it's focusing on the present without judgment. So it's saying, what am I experiencing right here, right now? Not worrying about the future of what's to come and the, the anxiety that that holds, or looking past and looking in 
the, um, behind you and saying, what are my regrets, or I should have done this wrong, should have done that differently. It's just staying right here, right now, and, and being with that. And that in itself has very good stress-reducing properties, and it's really popular. Who has access to a counselor if they need to speak to someone or knows where to go? Hopefully you'll have lots of options either within your school, um, the GP is also another source, but just to know that there are trained professionals who are there able to help you if you don't feel comfortable speaking with family or friends or if you don't feel that you're getting enough out of it or that you want a safe and confidential space in, in which to talk. The number one myth about therapy that I hear is that therapy is for weak people. And I couldn't disagree more. It's not because I'm in the profession, but it is because it is the very strong people who end up coming to therapy and they carry these tools, whatever they learn through therapy about themselves and about the world and other people, they can then take forward into other areas of their life that ultimately make them very successful, um, whether that's in work, career, um, relationships or their physical health. Generally speaking, it's a, it's a productive and thing and a sign of strength. Exercise. Does anyone find that exercise over time relieves stress? Yeah. Great. Great. It's so cliche though, isn't it? Oh, eat well, exercise, sleep well, and then you'll, you know, you'll reduce stress. But it is so true. It's scientifically proven and experientially, if you do it, you will see the difference. The more you expend energy, the better you'll feel and the, the lower your stress levels will be or your, your tolerance to stress. And it could be really small. You can really integrate exercise in your life without having to like, put on your full kit and go and break out into a sweat and, and, and feel like this is something that you don't have time for. You do have time for it if you just incorporate it and build it into your day. Who likes being outside and seeing trees and the sunshine? And Great. See, we all love it. You know, we're, that, that's instinctively, um, that's where we come from. It's the outdoors. And you know, if you can combine that with mindfulness or deep breathing, then you're really onto a good thing. This is good stress-busting material. In my experience of seeing a number of clients with, with stress as a presenting issue, they tend to, um, well, some of them anyway, will tend to plaster over the stressful situation by drinking more. Um, and it's, an anti it's a depressant, essentially. So even though you, it, it might um, make you feel more confident, it actually, in most cases, masks the, the stress and, and, and it's not going to do you any favors. When you're stressed, it's hard to sleep. You know, sleeping problems is one of the symptoms of stress. So for me to tell you sleep more when you can't sleep is somewhat rich. But um, in the general scheme of things, the more you can incorporate um, sleep as part of um, your lifestyle, the better off you'll be. The key is to be your own guide. So it's very unlikely that someone's going to say, you're stressed. Well, they might if they care about you. But the best way of managing stress is firstly checking in on a regular basis and just scanning. Am I stressed? I'm feeling uneasy. I haven't eaten today. There's something that might be going on for me which makes me think that I'm stressed. And what level is that? Can I tolerate it? Is it a medium level or is it way above the, the expected value and should, and then what can I do to de-stress? And so really this is where I'm going to leave you now. Um, it's, it's down to you. You're your own guiding light. Um, you've got the tools within you and you can keep building on those. It's a lifetime skill and I hope that today through the courses of the exercises you're going to be able to take something valuable away from them and apply them in all sorts of situations um, because these really are um, going to serve you in good stead and hold you well for the future. So on that note, thank you very much for having me today and I wish you all the best in your stress-conquering endeavors.